I'm listening reminds you that you are not alone and that talk saves lives. There's a new national hotline for mental health related distress, 988. When you call or text 988 from any phone, you will be connected directly with trained counselors in over 200 crisis centers nationwide. They can get you the help you need anytime, anywhere. 988, the new National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Talk saves lives. And with 988, talking is only three digits away. Find out more at imlistening.org. I'm Listening reminds you that you are not alone and that talk saves lives. There's a new national hotline for mental health-related distress, 988. When you call or text 988 from any phone, you will be connected directly with trained counselors in over 200 crisis centers nationwide. They can get you the help you need anytime, anywhere. 988, the new National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Talk saves lives. And with 988, talking is only three digits away. Find out more at imlistening.org. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. We got a brand new shirt in the rock shop, and if you're a Wordle lover, you're going to be this kind of shirt lover. Or at least a Wordle tolerator sometimes. I I heard uh, it was a very popular shirt for uh, Danny when he was wearing it uh, out out and about in the streets. Out and about in the streets of Chicago. Yeah. Yeah, it was super weird. I was I was just at the airport, and I've never gotten so many comments of people being like, oh, that game, I play that game. Or I was sitting at the bar having a beverage, and they were like, this one guy was just like, that's an interesting shirt. What is it? So I had to explain, and he's like, you know what? I kind of like that. I kind of want to buy one. Send oh, him the wow. link? Yes, I did. Awesome. How random it would be some just some guy from Chicago just wearing a shirt doesn't know anything about it. So I think we got a bunch of sales from Tequila, a couple of in Enumclaw, one in Issaquah, and then somebody bought one in Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Would you like to be somebody that owns one of these fine shirts? Maybe you'd like to send it to somebody in Chicago. Either way. <laughs> Get your BJ and Migs Wordle shirt in the rock shop now at KISW.com. Let's play B Migs. It's time to play the game. Yeah. For Beat Megs, it's time to pump it up for Monday. Pump it up. All right. Pump, pump, pump it up. Yeah, this gets me going because you know what? Mondays suck. Yeah, they do. Yep. And uh, this one was kind of weird for all of us. The elevator didn't work at work, so. No. <laughs> that was a good way to start off the uh, the whole yeah. week right there. Good way, huh? And, yeah. and poor yeah. Rav, no offense, but it was the test dummy yeah. uh, for it because they hadn't figured out that they could just take us through the freight elevator. So they had Rev go to the 18th floor and then walk four flights down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so that was, a, yeah. that was, it wasn't too bad because I was definitely not going to be walking up the 14 flights. Like if they, no. if I had to do that, I would have just called in sick. I'm sorry, guys. I can't make it today. Why? Because I'm here and I'm not walking up 14 flights of stairs. <laughs> That's because I tie. I park. I look and Danny sent a text because the group text is on. Do not disturb. I so I didn't that. see. You didn't see that. Yeah, one. I appreciate that. So I'm sitting in my car and I'm like, at first I was like, oh, am I just gonna have to go back home because I'm not walking up 14 flights. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, oh, wait to do it. And then I got there. And they're like, oh, we'll take you up to this floor and then the freight elevator. I'm like, great. I don't have to walk any flights. I don't care where you take. Well, me. look at that concierge service there. <laughs> nice. See, well, you know what? I guess when you're Steve Miggs, you're somebody. Yeah, maybe yeah look right at that now. fancy. Well, of course. Yeah. I mean, uh, of course. Duh. He's a champion. What do you want him but to say? Of course. It was funny though because the lady was like, yeah, I don't know why Bob made the other guy that you work with take the stairs. Like he, like she was. Just it's like, I hadn't figured out. He's been here all night, so he's tired. I'm like, well. That makes sense. I'm glad you're here and not him then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to our contestant today. We got Andrea in Shelton. Andrea, are you there? I'm here. Excellent. All right, Steve, get out of here. 
For those playing at home, Andrea will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Andrea, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Which actor starred in the movie Galaxy Quest and the TV show Last Man Standing? Tim Allen? Yes. Galveston and Tampa are located on the shores of what body of water? The Gulf of Mexico? Yes. Deep Space Nine was a TV spinoff of what franchise? Pass. What is the shape of the Milky Way? Uh... <laughs> Have. Which Disney film revolves around the Madrigal family in Colombia? Uh, Moana? No. Uh, pass. Ukraine is located on which continent? Europe. Yes. Finish the Shakespeare play Taming of the What? Wild? No. <laughs> oh. Uh, pass. Painter Salvador Dali was a native of which country? Spain? Yes. One, two, three, four, correct. Yeah, but you know what? The oh. ones that Andrea got correct, though, I thought, like, you had, you know, it's like stuff you should know. Like, like, smarty stuff. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of those. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean. The, the, ones, yeah. that, the ones that are mystical and more pop, pop culture-y stuff. Yeah. So, you know. I'm giving Andrea credit for that, and uh, you know, because all right, well, I mean, she still got what she got, and so yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate there weren't <laughs> questions that would be like what really you should know in life, but you know, we're pop culture idiots. What do you want from us? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and can't all be smarty questions, or else Steve. Uh, well, I mean, Steve's a smarty, so uh, is he? Yeah. He, he would just know? get a perfect ten every time if I just did oh, science questions. Yeah, I'm, I'm the right. smartiest person in this room. Yeah, you yeah, are. You are. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready? Uh, Oh, yes. Which actor starred in the movie Galaxy Quest and the TV show Last Man Standing? Oh, uh, Tim Allen. Yes. Galveston and Tampa are located on the shores of what body of water? Atlantic. No. The Pacific. No. The Mississippi. No. <laughs> Deep Space Nine was a TV spinoff of what franchise? Oh, that's Star Trek. Yes. What is the shape of the Milky Way? It's brown and square, rectangular kind of. No, not, a, a, not a, the candy answer, bar. <laughs> Come on, it works. Shape him a, a circle. No. Um, it looks like a, a, a big spoon. No. Which <laughs> Disney film revolves around the Madrigal family in Colombia? I don't know. What's that red one now? The Reddies. No. <laughs> the Reddies. Wow. I don't know. Sleeping Beauty. No. Oh, man. Oh. Snow White. No. Coco U Melon. No. Ukraine is located on which continent? Europe. Yes. Finish the Shakespeare play Taming of the What? Screw. No. <laughs> True? Yes. <laughs> Painter Salvador wow. Dali was a native of which country? Uh, Spain. Yes. And because of that, Steve, you squeak by with a win. Ooh. Five, two, four. Oh, Deep Space Nine was the difference. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry about that, Andrea. If you, you needed to be more geeky. A little bit more. But. Work with some geekies. Yep. I'll work with <laughs> yeah, call back anytime. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell she was a young and I'm not, you know, Deep Space Nine, I might even be older than her. I can't, I'm trying to think. I think it might be. I don't think so. <laughs> she was she was 29, and I remember Deep Space Nine being in the 90s. Oh. Exactly, yeah. And is that, so that's over 30. It's about 30 years ago, right? Yeah, she's just a kid. When yeah. it started, Oh, gosh, yeah. She was very much single digits yeah. at that point, so. Yeah. And I, yeah, so. I'm looking at some of the texts, and I have to agree with them. Hmm. I feel like my Milky Way answer is fine enough because oh. you did not specify the constellation or the candy he, bar. It's not a constellation. It's a galaxy. Yeah. Yeah. Same he, difference. He, he, I'm reading yeah. the text. <laughs> I'm going to defend Rev, uh, because like we don't call Facebook the Facebook anymore, he did say the Milky Way, and we don't call Milky Way. Wow, am I getting Milky defense Way. from yeah, DJ on this? Yeah. You want to Speak nitpick. for yourself. I always, where when I go to a store, I say, the where is the Milky Ways? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Milky Way? And they say they're yeah. next to the Snickers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know yeah. what? Since you won, fine. You can get it. Nice. <laughs> Also, uh, today Lily is in the studio with us, and she is very disappointed with you that uh -oh. you didn't get the Disney question. Right? Yeah. Why is uh -oh. that? What, what's the answer, Lily? Encanto. Yeah, it's Encanto. Oh. It's a great movie. Well, Good job, says, Lily. She even says it with a little pizzazz. Encanto. Yeah. Hey. All right. I, I let you down. Lily. Yeah, you did. Uh, if you didn't know the shape of the Milky Way, the galaxy is oh, a spiral. On. 
Oh, I don't. Come on. I wanted to answer that. Well, too late. Damn it. You didn't do it. <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's a spiral. <laughs> yes, it's a spiral. There you go. Congratulations. Uh, so, also, Galveston and Tampa are located on the Gulf of Mexico. Come on, Steve. Andrea got that one right. Well, you know, yeah. sometimes you don't get them all. Nope, nope. Uh, <laughs> but you got enough. Has, yeah, sometimes. How about all the time? <laughs> yep. Congrats for your win. Thank you. All right. Well, you know what? Of course, I went on in, on the internet just to see if they were referred to as the Milky Way, so I could be more of a butthead. But no, they're not. They never did. The no. Milky Way. Uh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you figure back like in the old timey days when they first created it, maybe they would have called it the Milky Way. But Give me no, one of didn't. them Milky Ways. Yeah. Milky Way are so delicious, too. Mm. They're tasty. You know, mm. I don't have them nearly enough, though, You know, when I think about it. But it's usually Halloween where they come back into my, uh, you know, because all the fun sizes. But I don't think I ever go get a bar anymore. Like, you know, hey, let me get a Milky Way bar. Did you know there's two different versions? There's the U.S. version, and then there's the global version. What's the global version all about? It's packaged differently. It's in, like, a blue um, wrapper. Uh, What? Oh, wow. It looks more spacey. Yeah, Yeah, I kind of kind of like that. Wow. Well, why don't we have that special space version? I like that. Is it the same bar, or do they have different flavors or something? I haven't gotten that deep into the Wikipedia page on it, BJ, just yet, but uh, (laughs) I'll... All right. Yeah. On Amazon, you can buy European Milky Way chocolate bars. Again, I don't know if there's any difference, oh. but the pack looks neat. No, no caramel topping and no nougat, nougat, nougat center. <laughs> nougat. Nougat. nougat, easy for you so to say. So what the hell is it then? I mean, that's two, those are two big ingredients. Wow. Yeah. It just looks like it's got like that, like that chocolatey, creamy inside. Wow. Yeah, you oh, see the difference of the two. Okay. Oh, that's that's interesting. interesting. It's just got like that, like, what is that? Oh, that looks like a th- almost <laughs> like a three musketeers look to it. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. What's going on, Milky Way Europe? So, cooler packaging, but we have the more dominant actual bar. Sounds yeah, like yeah. You gotta, it, yeah. You, gotta the, you gotta have the caramel and the nougat, right? I would. Yeah. All right. Well, that's why you're American. It's weird how they're like, okay, we'll do that for America, but not for the rest of the world. Yeah, I don't understand well, you know, how that works. It's a different taste, you know. I mean, there's, I mean, when you go to all these different countries and the things that they have that they consider treats and sweets, and you go, like, like you know, with like, like, su- like not matcha tea or sweet tea. I mean, the mm-hmm. tea being a tea flavor in any sweet, I'm like, I don't want tea in anything. But in other countries, they go, oh no, it's awesome uh, having tea in our sweets. So what are you gonna do? Just, you know what? Nougat, Steve. But to leave the country and try one of these Milky Ways from somewhere else. <laughs> or you could order, order them on Amazon, but if you want to leave the say, country. The, it says on uh, the Wikipedia, which is always correct, the global Milky Way bar is marketed in the U.S. as Three Musketeers. Oh. oh. That's why it looks like a Three yeah. Musketeers. Oh. Well, that's just stupid. <laughs> you don't have to go to Europe to get your Milky Way bar. Just get a Three Musketeers wow, here. Wow, yeah, that's like insane. That. So what's in the Three Musketeers in some other countries? Is it just I, a I, Milky Way bar? Exist. I don't think they have a Three Musketeers in, the, in Europe. That's the point. Interesting. Uh, well, so maybe they have a Milky Way, but they call that some. That's a question you have to ask. What do they call our Milky Way in Europe if they sell it over there? That's the question. Maybe they call that a Three Musketeers. That is weird. So, uh, which came first, the American Milky Way or the British Milky Way? It's yeah. so weird that they would have made it completely different if, if they said, okay, we got this great candy, let's go. But huh, I don't know. Yeah, so we have an awesome name for a candy bar, but we're not really 100% sure how we want to deliver it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it is time for listeners on the loose. You pick the topic, you guide the show. 206 421 Rock, Texas at 77999. Maybe you have these tough answers for us. Well, whatever you want to talk about, we got your calls, we got your texts at 917 on The Rock. BJ and Mix mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. It's listeners on the loose. You pick the topic, you guide the show. 206 421 Rock, text us at 77999. Yep. You have the opportunity to speak it, baby. But remember, when you speak it, speak it Steve's way. It's a simple way. And that's with energy, BJ. Otherwise, we're going to have to gong you. And then say goodbye. Goodbye, old friend. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Let's go to uh, Lee in uh, Pacific. Lee, you are on the rock. Good morning, BJ. Good morning, Lee. Welcome to the show. What you have for us? Um... So I was listening to your your bit that you did before the last song about um, about what different sweets are called in the UK and what they're called here and the differences between them. Uh-huh. Oh, and it's and it sounds like even though you're Pacific, I feel like you were not uh, originally from here. It sounds like you are from over there somewhere over there. Yep, yep. I was born in Wales, but I mainly lived in England, so oh, very have nice. a generalized English accent. Well, it's a different kind of whale, Danny. You don't need to be scared. I you're really get scared. Yeah, for no, Danny started shaking. He's like, wait, whales? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and Wales is its own country, which, you know, sometimes yes, I keep forgetting because I'm like, oh, you sound like you're, you're maybe from over in England. Like, no, we got our own joint over here in Wales. Leave us alone. That's right. England, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales. That's what makes up the UK. You know what? It doesn't matter what Lee is going to say going forward. She just sounds like a professor, you know, because of the end. It just, it just sounds like she knows what she's talking about. So, Lee, what brought you to the States then? What, what brought you here? Um, um, well, my, my first husband was in the military, so gotcha. he was stationed over here. All right, so Lee, we were what we found out, we were very surprised to find out is not only does Milky Way have a cooler looking wrapper in England, yes, but it also does. it's not even the same candy bar we know. It, it's it's got the same ingredients as our Three Musketeers bar. And so our big question was is all right, well then where the heck is the Milky Way bar? Like do they have a candy bar that has all of the Milky Way ingredients American style? It it does. Yeah. Um so, okay, so the, the Milky Way bar that we have there actually tastes better than the Three Musketeers version here. It's hmm. like the one you have here tastes sort of maltier, and it doesn't taste as good. But generally, generally speaking, the chocolate here is not as good either. You, you know, that goes and ropes Ooh, it. Oh, Steve, we should good. we, we um, got to order. We should order some European Milky Ways then, if she, if she, because yeah. I like Three Musketeers yeah, you can see as it on is. Amazon. They have one. They sell actual, oh. you know, UK Milky Ways on Amazon. But the 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 Milky Way version that you're talking about here, um, that one is called a Mars bar in the UK. Uh, but the Mars bar here has nuts in it. The Americans just love to put nuts in everything. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> That's why you stood here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay then. Uh, what? Like so, pistachios so you're and saying almonds. so the so the 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 <laughs> Mars bar here? Uh, I'm all right. So the Mars bar there is basically a Milky Way. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. then, where's the Mars bar? Because <laughs> like, like, um, we don't. We, wanna... Yeah, we don't have like we don't have almonds in in our chocolate unless it's supposed to be there. Oh, and um, oh, and that one bar, and that one that's the triangle one. I can't remember its name now. Toblerone, but chunky. Has, Toblerone. Yeah. Oh, Toblerone. Yes, Toblerone Love has those. has nougat and um, little bits of almonds in it, but that's the only one. Oh wow! I don't even know if the Toblerone I know has that. That's interesting. Um, I am very, I, I am very interested in trying a, a European Milky Way now because of that, as well as a European Mar, um, I guess Mars bar. Um, yes. Yeah. I, so I, what's I more confusing, those. the yeah. chocolate bar situation here, or the fact that we haven't adopted the metric system? It seems like they're both very confusing. <laughs> Well, you know, it's since Brexit, I mean, everything's changed there too. So, um, <laughs> but the chocolate still remains good. <laughs> Well, that's good to know. I mean, because I'm a chocolate guy. Hey, this might be a dumb question then. Oh, you got to you know. We're talking for Lee, who's originally from Wales, who <laughs> is, who's hipped us to the candy bar stuff. So what's your guys' beef with um, with nuts? Well, I mean, nuts are on everything. I mean, they should, there is, you know, in certain things like the Marathon Bar, which is what you call a Snickers here. Um, I think that's, you know, that's okay. But um, Americans just put, like, nuts in everything, like, they, they, they surprise you practically. It's like in everything. <laughs> well, like we're the, one of the few countries that actually consumes this much peanut butter. Like you go to any other country and they're like, what, what? You're eating peanut yeah. butter? Do you guys have payday bars? Do you like those? Um, no, we don't. Uh, we have similar-esque type-ish things, but huh. not that particular one, no. We're just not as into nuts there. So this would be the most proud I've ever been to be an American. Yeah, I kind of want to move. I kind of want to move to Eng or Wales. <laughs> you like nuts? I'm not good with the nuts. Oh man, nuts and <laughs> yeah. chocolate. Yeah, so that's I like where it's at. Butter until I moved here. Wow. Um, and yeah, it's just not something I've ever had. I mean, I'm supposed, I'm supposed to have them in shops there, but I never had it. Where do you stand on Reese's? Um, you know, uh, I mean, it's a quiet taste, but it's the chocolate. That's the thing. No that I, it, I have a difficult time getting past because the chocolate doesn't taste very good. Oh. That's interesting. I really want to try the. I got to try the European chocolate. I'm with because, you, BJ. Yeah, I mean, no, it, it, I get what she's saying. If the chocolate is a cheaper version, it will make pretty much any candy not as good as what she's used to. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. Makes, that, you know, and I, I'd like to consider myself a chocolate oh. con. And I know what you're talking about. I've had good chocolate, and then I go back to having, well, I won't name any brands, but American <laughs> chocolate that, you know, just run-of-the-mill chocolate. And there is yep. a difference, no doubt about it. There was, and so uh, it's, it's like a, butter, a butteriness and a creaminess that's missing, I think, from some just run-of-the-mill so American chocolate. Mm. I need to yeah, try I some. Would yeah. Do you guys right. not have Mountain Dew? Because someone texted and saying that you, they went to London <laughs> for work and they couldn't get Mountain Dew. No, yeah, no, we don't have it. I mean, all the pop is different there. Um, I mean, I'm trying to think there's something that would be 
Spanish Mountain Dew. No, I don't have that terrible there. So, nope, no Mountain Dew. Wow, <laughs> young Rev could never have been in, in England. Yeah, I, uh, I have <laughs> a feeling Or that, I wouldn't uh, have gotten diabetes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Glasses half full. Yeah. Lee, nice to talk to you. Anytime we, 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 anytime we need any information about uh, the UK, we, we've got to, we'll, we'll, we'll throw a shout out to you on the air and hopefully you can get back to us and educate okay. us. Well, I, I listen like pretty much throughout the day because I just uh, kind of potter around the house. Doing things, and I always had the radio on. Nice. I love that. You say you, you don't like nuts, but you listen to us nut balls on the radio. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like, yeah, I like, yeah, I like the type of nuts that you are. So, nice. you know, oh. <laughs> well, thank you, Lee. Good to have you aboard. You okay. Know. You know what? It feels like we have somebody classy listening too. You know what I mean? That's what I like about it. I think everybody says you so oh, thirsty. thirsty. <laughs> Who listens to your show? I will look. Look, I, I, you know me. I love my English. I, I know. Really, really I know. I love the English. I love English. Everything. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, I just don't understand what their issue is. Even though she's nuts and chocolate yeah. bars and stuff. Like, I do want to try the chocolate though. Someone says there's a place in Puyallup called British Bites, and they have European candy bars and yeah, chips and things cool. like that. Did that? I and looked Puyallup, on the site, and it looked like why? they just had a bunch of sausages. Yeah, it looked, they, they have tea parties and a bistro and everything, apparently. I don't even know where this place is in Puyallup. It's on Main Street. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's kind of right around the area. Yeah, I did. I recently, uh, I, I went to a funeral service, and it was, it, and they had English refreshments. And they, I mean, and it was like tea time, because that was the person who passed away. That was her, one of her favorite things. So, she was originally from England, too. Uh, even though, again, Lee is from Wales. I got to remember, they're two different places. Mm -hmm. But uh, still, uh, yeah, I love English pastry. It's pretty awesome. I had a jammy dodger, and it was like a real jammy dodger, which is like a, it's like a, uh, two two butter cookies with like jelly in the middle of it, like you know strawberry jelly. Nice, oh, yeah. Jimmy Dodger. Oh, I love them. Oh yeah. Mm. 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 There's something to say about British pastry, man. Uh, you know, sometimes we in America we 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 high fructose corn syrup our way to everything, and there's something to be said about not doing that to some of our sweets. So it says, come on, Steve. It's common knowledge that we started our country because they don't like nuts in their chocolate. America. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was the Boston Nut Party. Don't you guys remember that? Because yeah. <laughs> they weren't nuts at the party, so we were like, it's so fun. You know, that's we're like up. the perception of America. They just put nuts in everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're not wrong. Let's go to uh, Rob in Puyallup. Rob, you are on the rock. It's listeners on the loose. What you got for us, buddy? Hey, uh, you guys were talking about funny money, and uh, I was still on rail. I was down in Pacific about a year ago, and I got a my change back. I got home, and this ten dollar bill felt really funny and smooth, and it was lo and behold, it said "chalk money, do not use" right on the right on the bill. Oh, so man. you were given some counterfeit money from a place where you did business. Whoa! Did you take it back? Yes, but that's the thing. That's, I called the sheriff and said, "Hey, you know, somebody's passing this around." He came to my house. I gave it to him. He said, "There's nothing they can do about it. It is not counterfeit. You can buy it online. You just have to watch your bill." Wait, could but could you have gone back to the the store and said, "Hey, you guys gave me this." I mean, I guess it would be like like uh, my story. Yeah, I haven't been back to Pacific in a while, but yeah, I probably should have. But you know, I was bucks. already home and. I was lazy. Not <laughs> I would do the exact same thing even if it was like five minutes away. If it was, like, a, that's, if it that's was $10, a hundy, just, maybe, well, how yes. much would it have to be? A couple of hundies, maybe? A 50. Oh, a, a 50 yeah. you would have gone back? Yes. Oh, wow. I don't know if I would have gone back. I think I might even go back for a 20. Oh, I'm not going back for a 20. There's, there, there's no way I'm going back for a 20. 10, I'll chalk it up to a just, uh, damn it, chalk it up to a loss. Because <laughs> I think a 20 right now is like a fiver. That's well, yeah, like. when your net worth is $12 million, yes, of course. But you know. I just think, it, I think still? It, dude, <laughs> I, I think know. in general, what we used to think is $5, like, you know, like $5 was always a decent tip. $5, was, you know, was a nice thing to give a kid to go out and they get But I think now 20 is what five used to be when I was growing up. Wouldn't you say when you're growing up a five or now is that that's a 20? Mm. Okay. I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to put it in perspective, and the only way I can put it into perspective is with five dollars to get a GI Joe action figure when I was a kid. Yeah. Oh, that's going to cost you. And I can't least. imagine it would cost twenty dollars now. I don't know. I think Lily would still be stoked with a five dollar bill. Yeah, but that's like a you know, it's a cup of coffee, which used to be like a buck. Mm. Well, you know, now for you know, but what does like, the GI Joe action figure go for right now? Oh, it's got to go for fifteen dollars. Fifteen to twenty bucks. Yeah, dude. <laughs> All right. You're well, thinking you can get something for you can get an action figure for five bucks. Are you insane? No, I thought. Eleven dollars, no eleven ninety nine tops. Not at all, dude. You're, I, I was surprised it's under twenty when Vicky pointed 18 that out. Eighteen ninety nine for a, a GI Joe yeah, action dude. figure that I once got for maybe like five ninety nine. 
See, I a 20 know. spot is not, a 20 spot is is the new five. It's no different than like going to get like a Whopper at like Burger King. You're like thinking, oh, this is just going to be like $4. Yeah. And then oh, it's like, yeah. okay, yeah. sir, that was, that was $9. I'm like, I know, I know, I didn't want the combo meal. She's like, no. That's the I know that. <laughs> yeah. If you want a decent meal, like, you know, if you want the drink and the fries and the and the good burger and you take somebody with you, it's going to cost you about 20 bucks. Yeah. Which used to cost you about five bucks. Man, I hate to say this, but I think you're right, BJ. Woo, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> but I would still drive back to get that $20 bill. <laughs> I know. That's the weird thing. My brain says the same thing as your brain, Steve. And I have to tell myself that 20 is not worth what it used to be. But to my brain tells me, like when I found a 20 on the side of the road, you felt like, oh, my God, there's so much I could do with this. It's like these days, I, I mean, I, it, imagine going to one of those places where people dance for you. Like $20 is not going to get that. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I recently had can't get a GI Joe action figure. Can't no. get a dance. What the hell is happening to this country, man? What's happening? I know. I had to adjust it because I used to think, hey, man, somebody did some work for me. I give them a twenty dollar bill, and and I, and you know, and the and the look in their face. I used to go, I don't understand why they don't look happier. And then finally, I had to I was like, well, if you really want to tip somebody, I mean, you, think about it. You're just giving the guy nothing. Damn. You, you know, compared to what used to be. So. And so, Steve, so I said several years ago, I was given some change at a place where they, in, they included a counterfeit $50 bill. Went back and management refused to take it back from Ann in Tacoma. Yeah. Because they probably think that's a scam. Well, yeah. at that point, yeah. they can't prove that they gave it to you, so. If so, man, Vicky, give me all those 20s we have here. Ah! I'm about to go back to <laughs> somewhere. <it> yeah. <laughs> Boy, that, yeah, I, well, first off, if somebody gives me any large bill like that, I'm going to check it. If it's larger than a twenty, I am going I'm to check it to make carrying sure. around that pen that the they pen. have that yes. to Those swipe cool. it. I don't even know how it works, but I'm going to buy one. If and it turns YouTube black, it. it's counterfeit. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Just bring a highlighter, and if they start sweating, that means they're probably giving you something that's not real. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Steve has always got the affordable version of anything you may need in life. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> It is Listeners on the Loose brought to you by Snoqualmie Casino. Listeners on the Loose where you pick the topic, you guide the show. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. More of your calls and more of your texts at 933 on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. I'm listening reminds you that you are not alone and that talk saves lives. There's a new national hotline for mental health related distress. 988. When you call or text 988 from any phone, you will be connected directly with trained counselors in over 200 crisis centers nationwide. They can get you the help you need anytime, anywhere. 988, the new National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Talk saves lives. And with 988, talking is only three digits away. Find out more at imlistening.org. I'm Listening reminds you that you are not alone and that talk saves lives. There's a new national hotline for mental health related distress. 988. When you call or text 988 from any phone, you will be connected directly with trained counselors in over 200 crisis centers nationwide. They can get you the help you need anytime, anywhere. 988, the new National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Talk saves lives. And with 988, talking is only three digits away. Find out more at imlistening.org. When it's time for an adventure on the open highway, one quick call to American Family Insurance gets you headed in the right direction. Our travel peace of mind package is there if you encounter a bump in the road. From roadside assistance to rental car coverage, we have you covered. Find a local agent or get a quote at amfam.com. American Family Insurance. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, SI, and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. It's listeners on the loose. You pick the topic. You guide the show. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Someone said, hey, the new Adam Sandler movie, Hustle, is freaking amazing. Discuss, LOL. <laughs> I've heard I've heard other people say that it was a good movie. Dude, I watched it over the weekend. Oh, oh nice. wow. Whoa. And that might I say, it was really, really good. Wow. Like, surprisingly good. See, that's the thing. I, we, 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 we wondered, like, is it the even odd, like, whatever, you know, Adam Sandler seems like every other movie is, is okay to, and then the other ones are bad. And so this It was, was like, I can't believe this is, I, mean, I just have a certain perception of what his Adam Sandler Netflix movie is going to be. And yeah. this was, and dude, it started off, the first, one of the first scenes in it was like, a super laugh out loud mo- moment like even made my wife laugh out loud and she rarely does like on like movies or TV shows but like it was like s- 
super funny. And I'm like, oh, it's going to be that, that kind of a movie. And it wasn't. It was there, there was like lighthearted moments, but it's not a comedy. It's not like full of laughs and chuckles and things like that. It's just a well-written, well-acted film. And Adam Sandler's phenomenal in it. Wow. I loved it. Yeah. Wow. It, it, My wife fell asleep and I kept watching it. It felt bad, whoa. but I didn't want to finish watching it. It was, it, from what I've heard, it's very comparable to like the almost like the Uncut Gems movie that he did that was also really well received and just like. I heard that was boring. I See, I didn't think it was boring. I thought there, and there were like la- laugh out loud movies. I think this one's more relatable than the other one mm-hmm. was, but it still was just like you saw his acting chops and it's getting, I heard great things it's about great. it. It's great. And I saw a lot of wow. people commenting on on social media as well. And I'm like, man, the hype, I mean, it's not, I watch you go into you like, it's not that good. But I mean, it's, I think that, that, that it lives up to the hype. I mean, it's got a 92% audience score and a 91% tomato meter, so wow. the audience definitely agrees. Joe will just, love it because it's got a bunch of uh, current basketball stars in it that are acting. Whoa, they're nice. playing themselves, but they're acting. Wow. How does Adam Sandler do that? How does he, out of the blue, pull out a movie that's a 91% on Rotten Tomatoes? Because LeBron James produced it. Oh, there you go. I don't know that's if that has anything to do with it, but he did produce it. I yeah. I'm gonna, nice you know, I, I, my wife and I aren't super basketball fans, you don't and have to not be. necessarily super Adam Sandler fans. But yeah, I, a 91 percent movie is at least worth a shot. I mean, we can stop it. It's a great story. It's super. It, it, it flies by. It doesn't feel like I don't even know how long the movie is, but it felt like it was like an hour and a half. Look two at hours. You, look at you two watching. Hours. I, I, I can't believe you watched a, like a current movie. Yeah, we put it on, and like my wife fell asleep, and I was thinking like. Do I stop it? I really don't want to stop it. Like I had this like little dilemma, and I was like, "Screw it! I'm going to keep watching it." <laughs> because I was like, "It doesn't. It wasn't like the. I, I could watch it again with her if she really wants to watch it, but I didn't. Think, I didn't get the vibe like that. Like she was like as into it as I was." Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good call. Because, yeah, yeah she'll, you, you'll find some other stuff to watch. I think that, that you know what? But I enjoyed I it that much. That decision. I, was, I enjoyed it that so much that I was like, I'm okay with having to watch this again if my wife decides that she wants to see this. Wow. It's good. And I, it's, and I watch an older movie, but you know, maybe it's like maybe six months old on Netflix. I finally got around to it. I've had it downloaded on my iPad for the whole time. And so finally I watched it on the plane yesterday. And boy, I, I'm like, gosh, I wish I watched this when it came out. Uh, Adam, uh, Judd Apatow's The Bubble, which is on Netflix. Hmm. And it's about, it's basically about a, a bunch of actors that have to be sequestered to make a movie during the pandemic. And oh. they make this ridiculous, like, action movie, which is like Cliff Beast 6. <laughs> so it's like the sixth installment. So all the drama that goes along with all these people in this action franchise. Well, unlike Hustle, it got 21% on the Rotten That one got terrible. That one got 21%? 31% <laughs> audience. Yeah. Really? Maybe just stick with Bubble really Boy like with Jake that. Gyllenhaal. I really like that movie. They didn't like that? Oh, wow. wow. Steve and BJ just changed places. Wow. Guys were in the oh, yeah. oh, no, this yeah. This is why it's wow. so hard to do a show with someone who has terrible taste yeah, in films. It's, wow. it's true. I am really... That look, the, uh, there's some other ones where I'm going. Yeah, I can see it. That one blows me away. I really like the bubble, man. That's, yeah, I mean, if you're I an uncultured horrible. idiot, yeah, of course you're gonna like <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I deserve that. Never mind. Forget the bubble. Wow, I, I wow. I really, I really. Maybe because I think, oh, it's an insider movie, and I like all the inside jokes. I really, <laughs> really like that movie. Yeah, you should appreciate good art, like yeah, I do. Yeah, Hustle. Really yeah, you place. know what? <laughs> I, I think something's happening. It's this osmosis thing. I'm not digging it because you're getting taste, and I'm not. Not getting anything from you. We also went back to uh, the flight attendant because we kind of were starting to give up on it. Because oh. and dude, I'm so glad we went back to it. Nice. Because the second half of that season is so good. It's gotten so much better. Really? I yeah. Was, I, okay. I was thinking it would. Um, but though I've only watched one episode myself because Sarah and I are so backed up with our other shows. But we're eventually going to continue it. But I figured. Man, am I gonna have to tell Steve? But you went back to it anyway, so good for you. Yeah, it almost made it like uh, now. Yeah, like now seeing where they're at, I'm like, okay, I get why there were some like kind of moments where it was like a lull. But it's great. Yeah. Wow, man. Have you tried Severance? No. I mean, come on. What do you want from me? Oh, you don't have Apple TV <laughs> Plus. You're not going to go crazy. I can only do so much. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you have I can only right? exert this much fine taste. Yeah. I have to go back yeah. to wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I need something, though. I need something to redeem me from the bubble. I didn't want that to be my only thing to recommend. That's horrible. I oh, right. I don't watch anything you recommend anyway, so it's oh. fine. I have a recommendation for Rev, but I'm going to have to tell him off air because he, he and I are the only ones who are going to be able to appreciate it. Or either that, Rev told me to watch this show. And um, I just, you know, I, uh, it's an old show, but it's got people that Rev and I both like. So I won't even say it. Uh, oh, all right. Uh, but I will say this. If, you, if you're if you a Matt Berry fan uh, from What We Do in the Shadows and other stuff, IT Crowd, uh, and, and Richard Adayo is also, I think I'm saying his name right, from the IT Crowd, a show called Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. It's on Amazon Prime. It's an old show, but it's brilliant. 
And Rev, I think you would love it more so than anybody else in this show. Oh, That's interesting. Yeah, I'll check that out. Yeah, Ooh. it's got all the people in it, and it's it's Wait, so you preface bad. It's all good. this by saying you're not going to recommend I it, know, and right? then you go on and yeah. recommend it. I did. You I went did. against everything that you just said within like five I, seconds. I <laughs> felt like I was like, well, what if somebody really cares? And like, I kind of tease something, and I'm trying to confirm nobody it. cared. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. I do. I think <laughs> Rep, you, you, Rep, what Rep you said was perfectly right. Yeah, this is a you and me conversation that you're telling yeah. everyone. There you go. <laughs> but if you if you think you you like what Rev and I like, then check it out on Amazon Prime. Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. Which yeah. really sounds like yeah. a horrible... You but could ask me in like 45 button. seconds the name of it, and I would have already forgotten. Yeah, yeah. I love the name, though. I wish I kind of... I think that would be a great radio name, Garth Marenghi. Mm. No? Okay, fine. Uh, it is <laughs> listeners on the loose where you pick the topic. You guide the show. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Oh, I love this text because it's just so funny how someone is so worked up over something that's not true. Oh, here we go. I love this. Okay, this person wrote us and said, Metallica pisses me the blank off. Oh, well, I'm 100% behind him on that. <laughs> they never come to Seattle. The EMP grand opening at Memorial Stadium and in 2003, and that was it. But they play in countries all over the planet. Blank Lars Ulrich. Oh, wow. So I was like, this is not, so inaccurate. Wow. Okay. So they played the EMP back in 2000. Okay. Then he's right, though, she. Uh, 2003, they did the Summer Sanitarium Tour, uh, which was a great show with Limp Bizkit, Mudvayne, oh, I think wow. the Deftones, Linkin Park. And that was at the C- at the time, it was called Seahawk Stadium. Then 2004, they played the key. 2008, they played the key. Then 2017, they also played CenturyLink. So, they never play yeah, here. That's, that's not that's including then the Vancouver shows that they've done a few where yeah. they didn't even come to Seattle. <laughs> yeah. I'm 100% behind this texture. I know. I thought that was just uh, so funny. They never. I mean, 2017, I don't even remember when that was. So as far as I'm concerned, they never play. <laughs> they've played three times since the person said they've never come to Seattle. And it's not like they played like little secret shows. They played the stadiums. Yeah, I just feel... clarify, they meant uh, three times that they couldn't actually go to the yeah. show. <laughs> oh, that's fair. That's fair. And they, I yeah, I'm pissed too to... at them. Yeah. What? You, I wonder how they would back out of this. At some point, you can say, my bad, or do you think... Yeah, like Danny said, doesn't matter. I couldn't excuses. go to those shows. Yeah, right. I really want to. I would love to look at that person and go. So, hey, here's where they were in Seattle. Excuse yeah. me, what were you saying? It was crazy. I, I, I was lucky enough to go to all of those shows. Nice. Were you really? Not, not to make it make that guy feel more. Wow, <laughs> you really are a jerk. Yeah, I'm pissed off at you now. I, I mean, know because you went yeah. to all the shows when they weren't in Seattle. Anytime they come, Apparently. anytime they play in Seattle, I will absolutely be there to see Metallica play. All right. Well, you know what? They're going to be playing tomorrow uh, at at uh, two in the morning. Well, you know, tonight, uh, I'll go as long as it gets done before four. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> Sneak yeah, out of just, bed. Yeah. yeah. All right. I didn't even realize this until yesterday. I was like, wait a second. Because someone said Slipknot's tonight. Anyone from BJ and Ming's going? Mm-hmm. I, it just completely. Wow. I, I knew they were know, coming. I, not yeah. fist. And it just kind of came out of nowhere. Like, I was like, yeah. I know it's coming sometime in a few months. And then all of a sudden, I'm looking at, yeah, over the weekend. I'm like, oh, my, that's Monday night. And Whoa. Cy- at Cy- Climate Pledge. Climate Pledge was with, Cy- with Cypress Hill. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Damn, that's a show. It's weird that they're not playing the White River Amphitheater. It's super I weird. I feel like any time they've ever come to town, it's been there. And F. Lars Ulrich for that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of Lars Ulrich. Why would they? Oh, I know why they're not playing the White River Amphitheater. Because we have a great arena now. You can play him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and also it's probably too cold. That's too cold. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that well. well you would, <laughs> I mean, it's only June, so. You would, well, Sarah was telling me, though, like this time last year, she was she was at two weddings around the same time. Oh, it, was, it was like it was like sweltering Yeah, last year. Dude, my time. Facebook memories that, that come up from a year ago. For like the last three or four weeks, have been pictures of me in the little kiddie pool outside of, in our backyard with Tatum. Yeah, this is this. Is, I mean, this is really what we are like. But I, it's been so long since I remember Seattle being like this. Yeah, at l- this time of year. Last year was the time when Lily came last year, and we it was 104 degrees in our apartment, and we were camped That's out in, right. in the in the living room because it was so hot, and we had like the air conditioners blasting it. And I was like, Lily, it's not like this every year. I swear. Oh, I was going to say, I was going to like, you know, we're going to tell Lily, yeah, your daddy doesn't pay for heat or air. But I, oh, you did. Oh, you did. No air. Yeah, you got to start picking yeah. the right time to come. Yeah. Don't sure. come in the winter, Lily. Not if you want to be warm. Uh, just saying, you know, for, from a friend. Oh, quick shout out. I meant to do it during Beat Migs, but I spaced on it. So my bad. Uh, oh, but, wow. Hey, All right. Well, you know what? This is your time. It's from Rory. Uh, shout out to his amazing daughter, Isabel, who saved a woman's life on Friday. Whoa. Really? Apparently, uh, his wife, his daughter, Isabel, is a... Hmm. Phlebotomist? A phlebotomist. A phlebotomist. A phlebotomist. Phlebotomist. I was going to write it. I, he spelled it wrong. That's why. No, I'm no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just, yeah, that's what it is. Phlebotomist. Yeah. 
A blood person. That. Phlebotomist. Yes. <laughs> and uh, a, a, guy col- a guy collapsed and she had to start chest compressions and brought, and brought the person back. Whoa. Oh, the guy, wow. I wonder if the guy passed out just because he doesn't like to have his blood taken. Ooh. Ooh. I, I, I was just picturing that they just passed out somewhere random, and, but, but Isabel was also not just good at taking oh, blood, guess, but also yeah. knows how to save someone's life. Yeah, yeah. right. Wow. Yeah, well, I, I, yeah. well, either way, good for, good for Isabel, man. You rock. I thought you were going to say she saved someone's life by telling him not to watch the bubble on, Am- uh, on Netflix. <laughs> wow. yeah. yeah, there you go. That's what I thought she did, because that would have saved my life and made me not sound like an idiot. Wait, a second ago, you are talking about how you liked it. I know, but I still don't now like you don't like it. You don't like it because of the, t- the so the easily influenced. Are you a lion or are you a sheep when it comes to these movies, BJ? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to. I don't like people to think I'm an idiot. I do still like the movie, but I don't like the fact that people hate me. <laughs> yeah, if you like, like a movie, you like a movie. Don't back down because Rotten Vicky, Tomatoes tells at, you. Vicky, take a look at the cast list, and you'll know why I like the movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. you, can oh, yeah. you can say it. Now. If, she knows why. if we came on and I said, "Hey, oh yeah, look, you got eighty-seven percent on Rotten Tomatoes," would you still be like, uh, "You wouldn't change your opinion"? No, oh, I feel I'd feel better about liking it. <laughs> you can like something that's pure crap. It's okay. Yeah, but I didn't think it was pure crap. That's the problem. I really thought it was funny. Well, to the twenty-one percent of other people, they didn't think it was pure crap either. Yeah, but they're obviously idiots like me. I don't like it. I want to be in the majority, buddy. See, I uh, always just view that as I'm, that's just I'm part of a, a small group of brilliant individuals. Well, yeah. See, I don't want to be like you either i really want i don't want well, i'm part of the majority home. everyone liked hustle so i'm, I'm yeah well i mean look I, I i can't throw I, i'm gonna wa- watch me hate hustle watch me watch that and I'll i don't like, know how I you could this movie. i think you'll really enjoy it it's the same way i could like bubble dude i mean you know sometimes my brain goes this is good when it's not well vicky even just show me like a 30 second clip from it it looks stupid <laughs> <laughs> it's it that's a, it's supposed to be a farce it's supposed to be a farce basically based on uh, and I like, but you know what? It's a lot of British people, and of course, Karen Gillan's in it. And I always nope, like there Karen. you go. Yep, that's I why found it. I'll, yep, I'll watch anything reason. Karen Gillan's in. So mm-hmm. I think I, I do have an unfair like. I will always say everything she does is great, mm-hmm. but it's also got Leslie Mann and Judd Apatow. It really had a, like and it flying been dinosaurs. Better. Oh, well, really? yeah, but mm, that's the I'm joke. In. Rev, I, I, Rev, you, if you watch this, let me know what you think. I really can't believe people said it was bad, but maybe it was no. a good plane movie. I've got a lot of other things to do. Oh, okay. You know, this looks like a movie I would like, though. Right. Yeah, yeah, it really does. Funny part. It does. David really Duchovny terrible. is in it. It's yeah. like a lot of people I really dig. Oh, well, maybe we'll watch it this weekend when we have nothing else to watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, I guess because yeah, maybe sometimes a plane movie is be- like a movie seems better on a plane than it is in real life. That could be too. It's the high altitude. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. I was high. <laughs> yeah, and you're having those fancy chocolates or whatever those are. The things you get from Jake, I don't, get, I, don't, I don't get them anymore oh you're not fancy why not no I'm not I'm not MVP gold anymore and I dude I got so embarrassed because I thought I could pull a move oh man because okay. I'm MVP 20,000 which is just regular MVP but you don't get chocolates at that level anymore so right. Danny, what I, do you have in your hand right now I got now? a Jay Coco that I got this weekend from uh, the MVP gold section of the oh. plane are you an MVP gold member I am Oh, yeah, see, Dan, oh, how about Danny's MVP gold now? He does more <laughs> flying than I do. Uh, Wait, so you're not flying enough? I'll leave this one. No, for you, I because of the pandemic, I didn't fly enough, and they gave me, you know, they gave you last year. They said, sure, Alaska goes. Listen, we know a lot of people couldn't fly, but whatever. But they gave me till April of this year to get my act together. I couldn't get it act together by April of this year, so I, I fell out of gold status. So what? How did they? How did they break it to you? Like you were like, hey, can I get one of them Jay Cocos? And like, sir, you're not that important. I uh, I stopped getting them, and I was like, this is odd. So, and also you. You get a free drink if you if you buy like a premium seat or if you're if you're MVP or MVP you get a free drink. So I tried to switch. I said, look, I'm not going to have an alcoholic beverage. I feel I felt like, look, I mean, they got to be the same price, wouldn't you think? Like you know, a, a fifth of some alcohol or one of those little chocolates. I feel so like I said, the chocolates how about I do it cheaper? Yeah. Yeah, so I said, how about we do a trade? Instead of me doing my alcoholic beverage for, that I get for free. And uh, she said, I'm sorry, sir, you're not on the list. Mm-hmm. And right in front of everybody. It was just like, <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, it just was public like, oh, disgrace. Yeah, I was like, oh, I feel like such a loser. Oh, dang. Well, why don't we just go to the J. Coco Chocolate Factory? Yeah. I mean, really, they have, them, you know, they have them everywhere. Yeah, yeah. They, ha- they have them at the airport, too. I could buy my own. But, you know, I just felt so special for all those years. And like, you know, and I didn't get a drink. So I feel like I got robbed. Like, what am I? I feel like I get nothing from this MVP. I get nothing. So I, I don't know. I, I feel like Alaska's got to give somebody something if they're not a, like there are a lot of people who don't drink. So I'd be like, you know, what do you, what do you, what do you get for us non-drinkers? What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you get for us? Yeah, you're right. They got that. That was, for, <laughs> you know, they got, they, they give me that. Yeah. Well, if you give me four bucks, I'll get you a Jayco. I used to be able to <laughs> complain. I had a hookup, but he's gone now. 
that would be the chief football officer. He's no longer, you know, I can't, <laughs> oh, I can't go to him anymore. Jeez. Yeah. So, oh, no. Drew Locke, maybe. He'll get you one. Let's fly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's we got fly. a big question that has to be answered right now. What do Ryan Castle and a cockroach have in common? I'll tell you at 952 on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. And now, the Ryan Castle question of the day. What's your Ryan Castle and a cockroach have in common? Real tough to get rid of. Yeah, right. One texter said the first part of the word is for both. Oh, that's rhymes with nice. rock. Oh. Co? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it. Co. Got it. Uh, Already. Both get my grandma's heart rate, rate, heart rate going. Well, she's oh, a dirty yeah. bird. Yeah. <laughs> nice grandma. There's a company in North Carolina that has this really odd offer. If you allow them to come into your home and release 100 cockroaches, they'll they'll give you a check for two thousand dollars. Release cockroach. How much does it cost to get rid of cockroaches? Damn. Well, they they have a new technique. I mean, the reason they're doing it is they're going to get rid of them as well. You get two grand, and they'll use this new pest control technique, which they think will get rid of all the cockroaches. Of course, it may not because it's new. Uh, and there are five to seven homeowners are going to be selected, and they'll give you two grand to let you try out their new experiment. And people are lining up to try this? I, uh, yeah, really? I mean, they say they'll use the old ways if the new ways don't get rid of them. Oh, okay, thanks. I was hoping you would. Burn our house down? Yes. <laughs> right. Ryan Castle. He doesn't have $2,000 or cockroaches, but he does have a 12-pack. BJ and Mix Play of the Day. I'd be so jacked if I was in a concert and there's a 69 year old or a 70 year old dude that's just surfing the crowd. I'd be like, we gotta do everything in our power to keep him up for the entire set. That's gonna be me. When I'm yeah. 65 at a Blink 182 concert, if they're still around, they'll be on their wheelchairs. They'll be you know, playing their songs. Or hologram. When you're singing, What's My Age Again? It's literally trying to remember what your age what? is. Yeah. What? The chains of lyrics are, Where are my pants again? Yeah. Yeah. What's my age again? DJ and Migs mornings on The Rock 99.9 KISW. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. How much does bankruptcy cost? Well, b- bankruptcy costs, of course, vary depending on what type of uh, case you're filing. There's a certain amount of, of, co- of court costs and other out-of-pocket costs that you're going to have in any case. Uh, the, the filing fees in a bankruptcy case are, are about $300, whether you file Chapter 7 or Chapter 13. Uh, one of the things to watch out for when you're shopping for bankruptcy attorneys or, or looking at their different cost options is that a lot of times, especially the really cheap uh, places, don't tell you up front about the, all the court costs and whatnot that you're going to have to pay in addition to the attorney fees. So make sure that you get the full picture when you're talking, when you're comparing prices of bankruptcy lawyers on what the attorney fees are, how much your court costs are going to be so that you can really make a true comparison. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis us anytime at choose the right chapter.com. I'm listening reminds you that you are not alone and that talk saves lives. There's a new national hotline for mental health related distress, 988. When you call or text 988 from any phone, you will be connected directly with trained counselors in over 200 crisis centers nationwide. They can get you the help you need anytime, anywhere. 988, the new National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Talk saves lives. And with 988, talking is only three digits away. Find out more at imlistening.org. I'm Listening reminds you that you are not alone and that talk saves lives. There's a new national hotline for mental health-related distress, 988. When you call or text 988 from any phone, you will be connected directly with trained counselors in over 200 crisis centers nationwide. They can get you the help you need anytime, anywhere. 988, the new National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Talk saves lives. And with 988, talking is only three digits away. Find out more at imlistening.org. 
Julian Greening here from Bellingham Ford Lincoln with some exciting news. The order banks have opened for the 2023 models and we have great deals for you. Ford F-150, Bronco Sport or Ranger and we will lock in your price, lock in your 500 rebate and lock in your interest rate at 2.9 for 60 months on approval of credit. Custom build the vehicle you want and don't worry about price increases or rate hikes. Come see us at Bellingham Ford Lincoln on 1820 James Street or at BellinghamFordLincoln.com. 